Hey everybody, Chris here. So there's growing excitement for Dogecoin and crypto as the US presidential election nears. We're gonna talk about that in this video. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell too. You can be notified when my new videos come out as well as when I do live streams. And I will be live again Monday at four o'clock. That's four o'clock p.m. East Coast time. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I'm also gonna have a special live stream on election night. That's Tuesday, November 5th. Yes, yeah, so you can watch the election returns on TV or other YouTube live streams or even on X, but I'll have those results too here while we're watching the crypto charts, seeing how Dogecoin and other cryptos are responding as the election results are unveiled. So make sure that you are subscribed, got your notifications on, even on mobile, make sure you've got all notifications on so you know when I go live. Tuesday, November 5th, gonna be fun. But right now, we're looking at Dogecoin still holding up very well. And we'll take a look at the charts in the news. I'll show you what I'm looking at. And we'll start here looking at the Dogecoin chart. And we've got Doge right around 14 and a half cents. On Sunday morning, there was a dip down to about 13.7. But during the day Sunday, Dogecoin just traded right back up over 14 cents and did actually hit 15 cents Right there, it was on the Robinhood uh, exchange and a couple others hit 15. Binance didn't quite make it. It was 14.98, but close enough. We'll call it 15 cents for Doge. Uh, uh, this green line here is my higher high and I'm having a tough time sort of figuring out what that higher high is because Doge keeps on going higher. But we do have this succession of higher lows which are coming in higher lows on doge as every time dogecoin does a dip it's actually higher that's right and we're also looking at my price prediction here for october where i did have doge coming up and hitting 15 cents right there we're about a week ahead of schedule from my october price prediction but yes, I did have Doge hitting 15 cents before retracing back to this 14.3 support line. We may just say goodbye to that, though. So we'll see how that goes for Bitcoin. Bitcoin's still over 68,000. Again, Bitcoin is also hitting higher highs, and these higher highs do seem to be getting a little bit higher as well as Bitcoin traded above 69,000. That's right, over 69,000 again on Sunday. So what does this all mean? As we're nearing the election, there is a lot of excitement happening. Uh, we did have Donald Trump at a McDonald's. That's right, at a McDonald's on Sunday. And these were uh, just great pictures of Donald Trump working at the McDonald's. Just really great photos for Trump. And whether you like Donald Trump or hate him, I mean, what a great sort of marketing opportunity. Of course, the Democrats are saying that, you know, the McDonald's wasn't actually open. It was closed. And this is all fake. Well, somewhat. I mean, he was actually there. Yes. Uh, but security does have to control things. And I understand that as well. Uh, but the whole the whole McDonald's thing plays into a couple things. First, Kamala Harris said that she used to work at a McDonald's and McDonald's has no record of that. And uh, so it was I, I thought it was kind of funny and some great photos, whether the McDonald's was actually open or not. And uh, Altcoin Daily says me if Bitcoin doesn't hit 100K next year working the prime machine so that ties it back to crypto again we still don't know all of Kamala Harris's uh, positions on crypto she tends to think that you know, maybe Gary Gensler will be gone from the SEC and maybe we'll support crypto but it's kind of kind of unsure right now on the Harris side so again we'll be watching the presidential results anyway and just seeing how volatile the crypto market is on November 
fifth. I am. I am definitely. I'm. I'm actually not actively you avoiding are. crypto. Oh no. Uh, okay. Well, so the Dogecoin. All you know, the time. I, I make. <laughs> I make Dogecoin jokes and, and stuff because I just. I kind of like Dogecoin because it's uh, got the best sense of humor and it has dogs and memes and I. I, I love all those things. Yeah. There you go. So. I am, I am definitely, I'm, I'm an actual. Yeah, so Elon at a rally on Sunday. So Elon's doing his own rallies, just talking the truth of what he sees and why he's involved in politics this time around and was asked specifically about Dogecoin. He says he's not actively involved in crypto, but he makes Dogecoin jokes because Doge has the best sense of humor and he loves dogs and memes and that's that. And uh, follow me on uh, on X Twitter here at Chris Pax uh, as I post more and more of things happening with Dogecoin and crypto. And was watching uh, Jordan Cameron last night, and he was showing this great XRP uh, chart. And uh, there's the crab, as 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 I say, XRP is a stable coin. A little bit more on XRP in just a couple of minutes. Uh, the Motley Fool. Should you follow billionaire Elon Musk and buy Dogecoin? Is Dogecoin headed for another epic rally? Musk seems to think so. At least that's what uh, that, that's what they say. The first thing to know about Dogecoin is that a single comment or suggestion from a high-profile indiv individual such as Musk is enough to move its price. That's the nature of meme coins. They are built on hype and speculation, so even a suggestion that you might do something is just as good as saying that you will actually do it. The market is going to take that information and run with it. So for Musk, he's recently been promoting a new government efficiency initiative he plans to run under a Donald Trump administration that will be known as the Department of Government Efficiency. The abbreviation, of course, is Doge. That's right. He's been posting about it on X. And he names drop, name drops Doge uh, when he can. He's been leaving other clues about Dogecoin that involve other companies he runs. When asked about California potentially blocking future missions by SpaceX, his reply was simply, Doge can fix it. So, uh, and about Tesla, you know, there was the cyber cab uh, uh, event a couple weeks ago. Attendees quickly realized that one of the passengers in the cyber cab was none other than the Dogecoin mascot dog that led to suggestions that Dogecoin integration with Tesla's autonomous vehicles might be coming. So, so for all the, those that invest, uh, all these hints and suggestions function like dog whistles. They are clues that are meant to be audible to crypto investors, but not necessarily to anyone else. So, yeah, kind of. That's how Elon is 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 running with crypto right now. And we'll see how this whole thing moves forward with with Dogecoin. And right now, you can see by the price that it's reacting very favorably as we're heading into this election season. Uh, Dogecoin price prediction bullish trend ahead. The past 30 days have been great for Dogecoin with its price seeing a steady rise following the success of the SpaceX launch. That was the Starship launch that we saw last week. Dogecoin has gained momentum and it's not only that, but it's also tied in with this whole Elon Musk, uh, you know, sparking sort of Dogecoin's price because not only is he talking about um, uh, uh, Doge with these hints, but he's also talking about a bigger thing about the financial state that the, the country United States is in. And Elon says, they seem to forget the money being spent is your money. And if it's not being spent in a way that's beneficial to the American people, it's a misuse of funds. So all of this leading to how the United States is going to be able to curtail a lot of its debt and get back to representing us, the United States citizens. Could crypto be a part of that? Sure. Um, the recent surge can be attributed to comments made by Elon, often referred to as the Doge father. So a, a lot of this continues. There's the Doge will fix it uh, comment. So retail investors often interpret Musk's remarks as informal endorsements 
which leads to increased buying pressure on Doge. So we do see, you know, a, a Dogecoin's price trajectory may continue to benefit from Musk's comments, public appearances, especially if his references to Doge remain frequent. Uh, so what's happening with Doge? Uh, so we've, be we've begun since the beginning of August, we've be begun this uptrend in Dogecoin's price and Doge here over the weekend uh, coming up close to 15 cents here is sort of a retest of that and does look like we've retested this new upward trend line and could move higher as trader allen says doge to the moon the crypto dogecoin and the rally linked to politics what to expect so here we have dogecoin dogecoin's up over 140 percent over the past 12 months yes since last october it has outperformed most other cryptocurrencies over the past 12 months including bitcoin including ethereum and this bull trend seems to be continuing although we had that retrace uh, back during the summer but a year ago again we were buying dogecoin at 5.8 cents and now it's touching 15 cents so that's a big run overall even though doge was higher up at 22 cents back in march and has retested i think we're heading back to that 22 cents so all of this yeah, right now it's tied to Elon Musk and Donald Trump. And as I've said before, even if Donald Trump doesn't win, we still will see good returns on crypto. I mean, Joe Biden won in 2020 and look what happened to Dogecoin in 2021. So there is a connection between crypto and politics. And that is what we'll continue to watch going forward. Again, Elon Musk, he did mention XRP, and that was because there was a specific question uh, about XRP uh, that was asked. But, but the answer, I mean, the XRP army is just saying, oh, Elon Musk just said XRP, OMFG. Well, he actually said that he doesn't actually support it or not support it. But someone asked specifically what he thought about the XRP ledger. And I mean, this is what he said. Given how punitive the SEC has been towards crypto under this administration, do you envision the XRP ledger being incorporated into the financial institutions in the future? Well, I, I certainly cannot speak to any, in, any specific uh, uh, crypto, uh, but um, you know, I, do, I do think that uh, the sort of uh, cryptocurrency is uh, uh, an interesting and probably valuable bulwark uh, against uh, a centralized control. Um, so, you know, I, and uh, this is definitely not an endorsement or lack of endorsement for XRP. Um, but, but I do, I do think crypto, uh, by by its very nature, uh, is, um, is it helps uh, with individual freedom. So crypto overall helps with individual freedom. So he does support crypto and we'll see how all of the crypto market responds as we close out this election cycle in a couple weeks and then what will happen, I mean, especially if Donald Trump wins the presidential election, he doesn't actually take office until January, but it could still be a very exciting end of the year. Altcoin Daily says Bitcoin is 6% from its all-time highs. So he's comparing all the other altcoins to Bitcoin. Ethereum, 43%. Solana, 36% from all-time highs. But here's XRP at 83% from all-time high. Dogecoin is 80% from its previous all-time high. Cardano, 88%. And you can see the rest. What do you think is going to happen? Are we going to see this rotation from Bitcoin's big gains to ETH and then to all of the altcoins? Are we going to see a true alt season? Are we going to see these huge gains for these alts, which are way down from their previous all-time high, while Bitcoin hits its all-time high again, which is most likely going to happen in the coming weeks? This either shows the potential that Dogecoin and others have in 
seeing great gains, or we're just not going to see the same kind of results in this cycle as we saw four years ago or more. In XRP's case, it was eight years ago. So we'll see how all of that plays out. We'll be watching it here on this channel. So make sure that you are subscribed. Again, have your notifications on as well. Give the video a like. Leave a comment below. What do you think about this crypto and Dogecoin being tied into politics now? Certainly, we've enjoyed the run up that Doge has had uh, because of this excitement that is growing with Elon Musk, Donald Trump, and uh, crypto, this political cycle. So again, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.